mother, son, and granddaughter. Comedy. And yes. you know what our motto is? Life is too short. Life is too short, eat dessert first. Every now and then you have to taste one. Mm. <laughs> so good. She has a no. sugar problem. Imperfect malfatti, malfatti, which means badly made. My darling Lena made that. <laughs> you know, the secret to good cooking is really having the best ingredients. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like the flavor. Vodka, can't taste it. So if you get drunk, you haven't even tasted it. What's the point? If it tastes good and you get drunk, okay, you've done something. Hello? On today's episode of the Hot Mess Cooking Show, we have Nona. Oh, oh you're starting already. Making her famous meatloaf. I know you're thinking, meatloaf isn't that special, but Nona's is. Well, I think we kind of qualify as food Maria snobs. I think said that, but I think uh, Ed <laughs> loves meatloaf. We, he loves meatloaf. Yes. Loves it. We have and so does Shane, one. so that is why right, Nona's well, making it. You're right. All right, so Nona, what is on the menu? We have a meatloaf that we've been making for years, and you're using three types of excellent quality meat, pork, beef, and veal. The thing that makes it special is all the spices that, that go into it, and also, in this, you, you use almost an eight ounce can of uh, tomato sauce and the same can filled with milk. So you know you're gonna get lots of liquid. If you wanna know the ingredients, very simple. And I'm helping cut yes. the gas. Okay. Yes, okay. We, we are putting salt and pepper. We're putting sage. Just need a little bit, it's a wonderful flavor. Onion powder, garlic powder. Dried onions, yes. You can measure it out maybe in a tablespoon and dried parsley. This is a secret ingredient? Kind of. It's an extra that most people don't use. Also, I feel like ground mustard is kind of a secret ingredient. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have it, you can use your regular prepared mustard. We are going to mix all of that together till it's well mixed. It takes about an hour and a half in a 350 oven and it makes its own juice from the sauce and from the milk. Huh? You let that go, yes. You cook these in a skin. Yes, don't skin that. We peel it easier when it's boiled. The thing that accompanies that, that we've always made, is a mushroom. You start off with olive oil and butter. The good old fashioned Italian way. Sounds good to me. Yes. You're sauteing them. When it gets to be all covered, you are putting in a garlic salt, and then in that big pot that you're making, you cover it with water and the water makes the gravy. But you let it sit going very slowly. But then it thickens up and it thickens by just giving it a tablespoon of flour, any kind of flour that will thicken. And then on top of that, as it's going a while, that's when you put in the parsley so it stays a little green. Are you making your famous yam with marshmallows? We're making a sweet potato souffle. That's one of Shane's favorites. That might be enough, save those three. You can roast these. <laughs> okay finished with this, so here's where the olive oil and the butter combination comes in. Let's get this on. Kind of low. Okay, I'm going to start off with just a few chops of it. You know, the secret to good cooking is really having the best ingredients, whether it's vegetables, meats, butters. We're going to let that go, and we're going to add olive oil. Always an Italian olive oil. This is a mixture of cremini mushrooms and those ordinary white ones. So you see the butter has melted into the olive oil and you want this on very low. You can knock them around gently so you don't bruise them. And I am going to salt and pepper these right from the beginning. So we're going to do some... Are you on the computer? Hello Nova girl. Nona says to make sure they're all coated. Yes. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt. A little bit. You want to turn this into a gravy. So how do you do that? First of all, you're going to use about a tablespoon of flour, any kind of flour. If a pancake box is open, put that in. <laughs> so let's get a little bit of flour. So you're just going to do this to eye. And you see it's making some water. You're supposed to take this off the flame, but 
I'm gonna do it quickly. Let's do this. This is called roux if you're a chef. It looks so see, good. You see the butter? Already you're smelling. Mushrooms have a very strong earthy smell. I'm gonna add a little dried parsley because it's crushed and it will kind of disappear. If you're chopping fresh parsley, do it after. Okay, there. And now to make the sugo, the sauce, I'm just gonna cover this just till it's lightly covered. And then we're gonna cover this with a top mm -hmm. and leave it on very low. This will all come together and make the sauce. Before we do that, let me just give it a little taste. I'm gonna put a little more salt in there. You see it's already taken on the color of the mushrooms. We have three pounds, veal, beef, and uh, pork. The tastiest one, of course, is the pork. The least flavorful is the veal, but it's a nice combination. Oh, and with this, I put on my little gloves. Is this because of Corona or have you always put on gloves? No, I'll tell you a story. I once, Lena was little, but <laughs> very sharp. There were no gloves. I had rings, my nails were longer, so I took a pair of gloves that we washed dishes with. She didn't see it until I went to mix and she said, Nona, where did you get those gloves? Are they gloves that we wash the dishes with? I said, well, yes, they are, but it's a brand new pair. I just opened the pack. <laughs> I did not. I had a lie to her. Otherwise, she wouldn't have eaten it. Me? Yeah. <laughs> she had to make sure that they were perfectly clean. I'm still the same way because there's so many chemicals on that. You just didn't like it way back then. What did you know about chemicals? Nona's necklace is from Nepal. Yes. <laughs> what a combination. You can see what they are by the color. Yeah. So I'm just gonna break this now, and what you're gonna see me do is put all of the different ingredients. A little trick if you're adding eggs to anything this condensed, I'm always afraid it's not gonna mix enough, so what I do is I mix them. I beat them up here. Beat this up because you know it's just going to go all over and mix in much more easily. And this is contadina, a little Italian sauce, is always good. And then I fill up that can with a little bit of milk. That's gonna give it enough juice to make a gravy. And you don't waste any of it. That's right. I'm gonna start with a little, little chunk. So you measure this out or do you just well, do it by eye? By now it's by eye, but this, you know, there's just a little bit of this left. It's all going in there. <laughs> That's the kind of chef I know. Yes, dried mustard is very good. You uh, can control it a little bit better, but if you don't have it, prepared mustard is perfectly fine. Onion powder. Garlic lovers, it's garlic, oh. a little extra parsley. Okay. Garlic salt, since you just put that in, you don't really need it. I think I did that already though. Sage. And sage, yes. Sage is can be very strong. And usually you rub it, so when you take it out, just break it up like that. You don't want too much of it because it can be very powerful. But I think this is going to be enough that the trick is to use Worcestershire sauce. It gives it another flavor, and you can measure out, I guess a tablespoon. We'll put a little bit more than this. I don't know whether it helps. That should be enough. I'm just going to start to kind of... Push it together. I can't believe you brought gloves out because of me. <laughs> well, also, I don't want people saying, look at this, it's coronavirus. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> well, we're on the same house, yes, so. Yes, that's true. So before I put the breadcrumbs in, I want to see exactly how wet this is going to be. So I'm not seeing much of the parsley, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add some more. The other things almost melt right away. A little green, you can see. We should put the oven on. We're going to bake this at 350 for at least an hour and a half. I'll tell you one other little thing as I made this when the children were growing up. Mm -hmm. Lena always wanted to help and she wanted to make little tiny meatballs. So we would always take a little bit out and she would roll up these tiny little meatballs that big. <laughs> Maybe we would do 20 of them. I this can't is, get over the gloves. It's so funny because normally Nona would never use yes. gloves. And also, Nono would very often, with his baker's hands, do the mixing for me. Yes. I said, Anthony, my, my rings, my nails, he'd say, okay, <laughs> give me he that. he do it for you? <laughs> he'd do it. If you're a vegetarian, I'm sorry for this. Oh, sorry, go away. <laughs> you eat baklava. <laughs> you don't need meat. How many? More, 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 more. 
Okay, now I'm gonna mix. Some people, when they make meatloaf, they soak white bread or bread in milk. I've never done that. White bread I, grosses me out anyways. Usually it's white bread, and they want it to break down quickly, and it does, because there's hardly anything there. And, uh, and then you're supposed to squeeze it in. I don't like that idea. My milk is in after the uh, tomato oh, sauce. Let's... Mix, mix, mix. I think we're gonna do three short ones. Normally we do long, long ones. Yeah. And then you make little shapes like this. <laughs> These are like mini meatloafs. All of a sudden, they're very trendy. So trendy. But do you know that a lot of people don't like meatloaf? Yes, they, uh, I do. Because whenever I say I'm getting so excited for you to make meatloaf, people are like, meatloaf? Yeah. Because oh, you're used to eating very simple meatloaf. No ingredients that they can understand. So meatloaf is kind of like, it is a simple dish, but you somehow make it so good that we always beg you to make it whenever you come out. Yeah, I, I think it's really the Worcestershire sauce, which I never know if I'm saying yes, that properly, yeah. and the ground mustard. The secret ingredients. Okay, in the oven we go. Okay, see you in an hour and a half. And then I'm gonna pour cold water in here. No, no, I will say it. <laughs> you see these little meatballs? You see these little perfect ones? Nona made them. <laughs> you see these imperfect malfatti, malfatti, which means badly made? My darling Lena made that. <laughs> So, okay, but, but in my gonna... defense, I was using a spoon while I was holding the camera. You know, at one point, you know I was what going I did? like this. I put that. Uh, we took a lot. Of, we didn't make a lot of them, so it melts down to almost nothing. So we need brown sugar. Okay, we're gonna put brown sugar in. Cinnamon. Yeah, mom, just to save you some energy, you're gonna be no, so tired. No, they were so uh, soft. soft. Cinnamon. No. Mom, you're the man. You're the man. You're the man. <laughs> and nutmeg. <laughs> mom, okay. You're the man. Let's start with this. Four or five good chunks. Um, right. I'm doing all of this uh, to the eye. So this is a light brown sugar, and it's always good to start off with a fresh one because it's soft. Have you ever had a brown sugar that has frozen to a solid rock? So brown sugar, butter. Now, how about some cinnamon? It sounds like dessert, I'm excited. Cinnamon, well it is. I like that we get to pass this off as dinner. And this is Saigon. In the store we use Madagascar. Now, no, I have a question. Do you ever beat people with a wooden spoon? Yes, I do. Uh, I kids. used to chase the kids. For kids. Mostly I scared them, but every now and then- Who I had the most wooden spoon offenses? Mark, Tony, or Paul? I'm trying to think. I think you always took it out on the biggest one. <laughs> Because he was supposed to be telling the others what to do. There you go, Dad. There you go. Although I must say, he was just wonderful to be Thanks, around. Mom. I enjoyed being a mother of boys. I was a good boy mother because I was athletic. If they ran, I ran too. <laughs> okay, now I need a little bit of milk. Also to the eye. I don't measure it. Beginning to look. It's a beautiful color. It's a perfect fall color. Yeah, this is normally our Thanksgiving dish, but yes. since Shane asked for it, mm -hmm. Shane gets it because he's the baby. That's right, and he doesn't ask for much. <laughs> how, are those, how are those little uh, meatballs doing? Uh, they look hey, yummy. Hey. Taste one. Well, that might be a little hot. Okay. You didn't even save me half. Mmm, that was what? good. Someone taste less. this and tell me if it needs anything. Oh boy. Oh, it's great. Great? No more milk? No. It doesn't have to be any looser. No, no. It can't be any looser. Yes. There's plenty of moisture uh, in there. Nope. Now, I just think it took you kids years to like this. <laughs> Lucille and I are waiting for our gin and tonic. Well, you deserve it, chef. Okay. <laughs> then <Deserve>. get moving. <laughs> if they pop up too much, we'll cut. Look at if I do this and put it in. It's a lot of marshmallow. Okay, cut it in. I'll cut in half. <laughs> well, go around and run around the block a little more. <laughs> and it won't bother you. <laughs> Well, Dad's saying it's a lot of marshmallow. So, Mom, you don't want me going in thirds. You, you're happy with the half. Oh, no, not thirds. That's too small. That's not too small. Okay. This is going to puff up like, whoop. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't do that right away. What? I'm supposed to bake them first. Oh, just the potatoes? Yes, they in the last five minutes. Okay, they have out. a lot, and then you, I'll have these ready for you. And yes, yeah. all right, so we yes. bake the sweet potatoes for what, 45 minutes, uh, 50? Uh, almost an Blame hour. it on the alcohol. You didn't even make no That's anything. Right. Oh yeah, don't remind you me. You can't blame the gin and tonic that I haven't had yet. That's correct. I cannot do that. 
Don't do that. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Mother, son. And granddaughter. Comedy. Comedy. Every now and then you have to taste one. Mm. <laughs> so good. <laughs> she has a no. sugar problem. So do I. My granddaughters love me just the way I am. We check out the best desserts in New York City. <laughs> and you had desserts first. Me, yes. you, and Alessandra. Yes. Desserts. And you know what our motto is? Life is too short. Life is too short. Eat dessert first. And we check the menu. We see what the desserts are. Just to we see decide how much money we can have. exactly, and then you decide. Got that. What shall I eat for lunch? Sometimes it's just a watermelon salad with feta. <laughs> okay, Elena, dessert. in, honey. Okay. In we go. This will take at least an hour. But while we're peeking in the oven, look at how well the little mini meatloafs are doing. Dad, we made three mini ones instead of two long ones, so they're extra ends. I love it because I love the end. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting the malfatti meatball malfatti. made by my granddaughter, and they're delicious. Malfatti. Yeah, I didn't roll them with my hands, I used the spoon. That's a great word. Badly made, malfatti. but very good taste. That's my daughter, badly made meatballs. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what my mother just said about it. Salute a la familia. A la familia. You notice that we're the ones that have the cocktail. Lena is just taking the pictures. <laughs> pictures. She doesn't Just have the camera. One yet. No, I'm drinking my mint water. I'm Lucille, this is delicious. Mm. You know, this is so refreshing. We can work for another two hours. <laughs> we are falling. Or yeah, please don't fall. Don't fall in any capacity, guys. No, no, no. I look where I'm going. <laughs> I don't take chances. Yeah, but that's gin, Nona. That is the alcoholic drink. That's okay. <laughs> gin. I like the flavor. Vodka can taste it. So if you get drunk, you haven't even tasted it. What's the point? <laughs> if it tastes good and you get drunk, okay, you've done something. You've done something. All right, yeah. post gin and tonic. Okay, we'll do this. You gotta take a picture of Shane's face when he's eating this. Because he's gonna swoon. <laughs> the one I'm gonna put in the center. <laughs> More. You go around the, oh. I think you're fine. Put it back in. When that melts, we should be ready to sit down. Look who came to help. Did he take it out without burning himself? <laughs> All right, Nona, it's here. perfection. Oh, wait, Whoa. take this off, Whoa. and Whoa. voila! Ooh! That's Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, Nona. I think that is still on good. This is all. Oh, this looks really good. Shane, what do you think of the meatloaf? Tonight, they go one day. No one cares.